All right, an additional problem. Uh, this one is two legs. In this journey, you go 60 meters to the left in 20 seconds and then travel 60 meters to the right in 30 seconds. What is the average velocity? So as always with these problems, I'm going to set up a Cartesian graph or a number line, positive, negative, and we'll just say that this is uh, the zero meter mark or the starting line. In this problem, we'll start off going 60 meters to the left. So we start here and go 60 meters. That's negative 60 meters in the first 20 seconds. 20 seconds we'll come back to in a moment. And then you move 60 meters to the right like that. That is positive 60 meters. So the question is, what is the velocity? And by the way, that would take 30 seconds for the second leg. The velocity is the displacement divided by the time. And if we're interested in calculating the displacement, we need to figure out what our starting location is. That would be there. We would need to know our ending location. We went all the way over and then came all the way back. Our ending location, oh, that's interesting, is there. So when we do the final location minus the initial location, divided by the total time, something quite interesting happens. I'll rewrite down below. The velocity will be the final location, oh, zero meters minus the initial location. Oh, we started at zero meters divided by the total time. 20 plus 30 is 50 seconds. Zero minus zero is, oh, zero meters of displacement per 50 seconds. And it will leave us with an average velocity of zero meters per second. Is it possible to move and have an average velocity of zero? The answer is yes, if your displacement is zero. That's one way to do it. And our displacement is zero in this case. Interesting problem.